What's going on my YouTubers? It is your boy Ghostface Gaming back once again with another video upload for you guys. This time it is... <sighs> Can the Z Fighters hold out, bro? You know, um, Chapter 57 drops in about two, in about 24, 48 hours. We haven't gotten any leaks yet as far as I know. I just got offline surfing and looking for myself. And I haven't seen my boy Geek the one-on-one -on -one report on it, but we know that chapter 57 drops uh i believe it drops on the 20th of this month i'm talking a few days like it drop on the six or something we still have quite a few days to go it drops in the middle of this month so with no leaks yet we still have from the last chapter 56 to brew off of and it's like i say can the z fighters hold out you know just about everybody got their time to shine in some sort of way or fashion dealing with morals goons we saw our boy yam child come back to prominence you know what i'm saying and get his rocks off and then he was off into the next battle fly with the galactic patrol don't know how much they'll be able to help him but we also saw you know jocko kind of dissing and ditching on our boys like you know playing into breaking the fourth wall trope like you know oh all we know is Goku and Vegeta, you know, Gohan maybe, Piccolo's around, but you guys are fodder and, you know, try to play them boys. That's why I was so glad it was able to show them getting off and being able to get some wreck. You know, we had our rematch between Krillin and the Panda Dude and, you know, with Krillin being distracted, worrying about where Master Roshi was going, the Panda Dude kind of knocked him through the window or knocked him through a building. So, is Krillin going to be able to finish this without the help of Master Roshi? And then, you know, Master Roshi, a.k.a. Purdy Sage himself, dipping off, you know what I'm saying, into the moonlight, chasing behind uh, the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We just going to call them the Powerpuff Girls. And will Master Roshi be able to take all three of them by himself? You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to be able to get to see him, maybe, you know, get a conclusion to some of these little skirmishes that's going on. Because instead of, like, Resurrection of Elf and everybody was hiding in one area, people are going off to the different corners of the planet. So there's skirmishes going on all around the planet. And you know what I'm saying? We got to see the boy Gohan and Piccolo get off and do the swap of rule with 17 and 18. You know what I'm saying? I want to see a finish and a conclusion to this battle as well because the way they are running through everybody as far as morals, goons are concerned, the way they're just dish ragging and getting their rocks off, obviously this is a different battle from what we're used to in Dragon Ball Z, Super, whatever, you know. Our, our heroes, our Z fighters are being more tactical, they're being more strategic and doing a lot more combinations, you know what I'm saying, to throw their enemies off. Because all we know and all they know is power, 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 key, 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 blow up, this, this, that, and the third. So, with 17 and 18 fighting OG73, are they going to be able to finish the job? And did Piccolo inform them of 7-3's moveset ciphering technique and since they don't have regular key or however that was explained I still need some understanding on that however that was explained then we're going to get hopefully a conclusion to that you know what I'm saying it sounds like I'm all over the place in this video but as I'm talking that's how my brain works you know it's some things that just come to mind while I'm talking and going over the pre-dialogue already had for the video but you know hey I'm like yo my knackers but on a real on a realistic scale how are we going to get a conclusion to this because on a realistic this this is just first wave you know what I'm saying and at best I give them freezer goons no higher than maybe 50,000 power level and we know the sea fighters are well above that way way above that at this moment way, way above that so can these boys can these guys hold out man i also see some other theories out there 
some crazy theories. One of them was Gohan, your boy Gohan, was using Ultra Instinct against OG73. Anyway, that's another video for another time. We go get into that a whole nother place. But on a realistic scale, can they survive? Can they hold out, man? Like, what is is it going to take Moro himself to put the Z Fighters down? Because with the Z Fighters, obviously, they're going to run through Moro's goons because Moro wasn't expecting fighters of this caliber. You know what I'm saying? As him and the Grand Kai, Lord of Kai said, man, they weren't fighters this strong in the era. You know, you got mortals tattooing and tap dancing with gods at this point. So, that's really crazy. That's really, really crazy. As far as hell and morals aspect. So, this is something for him to feast off of. I'm not even going to get into any theories or discussion about Goku and Vegeta. We've already done our videos on them. This is strictly about the Z Fighters and what can they do. Because Piccolo and Gohan together are, are animals. And especially... With the way they've shown they know how to combo attack their moves and then synchronicity with each other the same thing with android 17 and 18 they haven't been together in a long time and as far as dealing with each other or around each other but the synchronicity is still there say they were master roshi and krillin even though pervy sage went off to go chase some tail and left krillin to fight the big dude on his own can they hold out to ryu and guile get back <laughs> You get what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Midoriya and, and Bakugo. <laughs> Sasuke and, and Naruto. <laughs> Y'all get the point of what I'm saying. But, in all honesty, if you ask me, I think the Z Fighters can do it. I think they can hold out, at least until Moro gets on the field, because they got an idea of what's going on, but they don't know the depth or can even come close to fathoming Moro's power right now because I'm pretty sure that he sucked up so much energy his magic is on Beerus level right now and we know Wisa can't get involved so we're not even gonna rate him on Wisa level but this is the question like at this point could Beerus hook Kyle? you know what I'm saying could, could, could he suck could he siphon this up pause <laughs> but could he siphon god key well obviously he can to some degree if he can siphon goku and vegeta but if it comes to somebody like beerus or the supreme kais you know what i'm saying like what is the depth of moral's power because he said he don't even know the depth of his power like how far could this go and that's crazy because like i say we had Chat get ready right here in the chapter 57 this month and I'm like Ooh the climax is so good I don't want him to drop the ball you know what I mean <laughs> please tell your to drop the ball but how would you end this like it's so many theories it's all over the place how would you end this where is that where else is there for the Z fighters to go from this point because okay we have Master Roshi who knows them with Fuba but with the move we know but the Mufuba work is moral too far gone as far as power sense is concerned and once again why didn't the gods teach nobody their ceiling techniques because obviously even down to the mortals are 10 times stronger than y'all were back thousands of years ago and we in the realm and space now on some hunter x hunter Naruto Shippuden style of Dragon Ball where we're in the old school style of Dragon Ball where just regular fighting won't do it no more you need other you need other skill sets and that's the whole purpose of Vegeta being on yard track so this is your boy Ghostface Gaming like subscribe and share to all social media platforms as always still doing the 150 subscriber gift card giveaway 
at 150 subs we'll get doing a 25 dollar gift card giveaway whether it be oh walmart card or playstation card it's your boy ghost face gaming man I'll probably be on later with a live stream y'all know what to do and i'm out y'all take care of each other peace